Hello everyone. Today we are making a chicken pot pie. We will start with making the dough for the crust. We will pour two and a half cups of flour into a bowl. We will add a half a tablespoon of sugar and one cup of butter that has been cut into cubes. We will use our hands to toss everything together. If you want, you can do this next part in the bowl, or you can pour everything out onto a pastry mat like I do. We will use our fingers to massage the butter into the flour so that it becomes flaky. If we were to roll it out with a rolling pin, our dough should be flaky like this. If you use a pastry mat like me, you can now push everything into a little mound to make it easier to put everything back into the bowl. Now that everything is back in the bowl, we can grab our plastic wrap and wrap it, as we will put it into the freezer for 15 minutes. When the 15 minutes has passed, we will remove the bowl from the freezer and unwrap it. We will add a half a cup of buttermilk, and then we will use our hands to mix everything together. We will want to be able to form a ball with our dough. If we can't form a ball, then our dough is too dry. We will add one tablespoon of water at a time to fix it. After we are able to form our dough into a ball, we will divide the dough in half, and then we will wrap each piece separately in plastic wrap. If you want, you can reshape each half back into a ball before you wrap them. When both little dough balls are wrapped, we will put them into the fridge to chill while we make the filling. We will start with chopping up enough carrots so that we fill one cup. We will chop up enough onion to fill one third of a cup. We will chop up two cloves of garlic. And finally, we will chop up enough small potatoes to fill one cup. We are now done chopping all of our vegetables. Now it's time to move to the stove. We will begin with melting a quarter cup of butter in a large skillet over medium heat. We will add in the vegetables and cook them until they are tender. Make sure to occasionally stir the vegetables. When the vegetables have become tender, we will add one third cup of flour, a half a cup of heavy whipping cream, and one and three fourth cups of chicken broth. We will give it a nice stir before we add our spices. For our spices, we will begin with adding one tablespoon of Italian parsley. Next, we will add in one and a half teaspoons of thyme. And lastly, we will add in a half a teaspoon of black pepper. We will now stir everything together. We will let it simmer over medium heat for 10 minutes or until it has thickened. Remember to occasionally stir it. When it's time, we will add in 3 cups of shredded chicken and 1 cup of frozen peas. We will let it cook for a little bit to heat up the chicken and peas. Now we will remove it from the heat and set it to the side as we roll out our dough. We will lightly flour our surface that we're going to roll our dough on. We will use the palm of our hand and push our dough ball down a bit to make it easier to roll. We will roll our dough out so that it's big enough to cover the pie pan, but don't roll it too thin. We will place it in the pie pan and shape it to fit the pan. When we are done fitting the dough to the pan, we will place it to the side so we can roll out the second dough ball. We will lightly flour our surface again and then roll out the second dough ball like we did the first one. When we are done rolling the dough, we will place it to the side. Now we will add the filling to the pie crust. When we are done, we will put on the top piece. We will pinch the edges of the doughs together to seal the pie. We will use a knife to put a few slices into the top dough. 
We will apply an egg wash onto the pie. We will now bake the pie for 45 minutes or until the crust is golden brown. And finally, our chicken pot pie is done. Now we just gotta let it cool for 10 minutes and then we can serve it and enjoy it. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope you enjoy your chicken pot pie.